TurboCore, the world's first magnetic bearing, oil-free centrifugal compressor for air conditioning applications. From Danfoss, engineering tomorrow. Safety precautions must be observed during the installation, startup, and service of the compressor due to the presence of pressure and voltage hazards. Only qualified and trained personnel should install, start up, and service Danfoss TurboCore compressors. This step-by-step -step service tutorial will guide you through the verification of the motor cavity temperature sensor. The motor cavity temperature sensor measures the gas temperature of the refrigerant exiting the stator. This temperature value is used to determine when to enable the motor cooling actuator. When cavity temperature faults occur or the cavity temperature appears inaccurate, it is recommended to verify the cavity temperature sensor. Remove the service side cover. Disconnect power to the compressor Wait for the LEDs on the backplane to turn off. Allow the compressor to normalize to ambient temperature. ESD precautions must be taken to prevent possible damage to static sensitive components. A grounding wrist strap must be worn when handling ESD sensitive components. Disconnect the cavity temperature sensor cable from the backplane J23 connector. Using a multimeter set for resistance measurement, place the test leads on the cavity sensor connector pins. The resistance value should correspond with an NTC, negative temperature coefficient, of 10 kilo ohms at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 21 degrees Celsius. Verify the connector pins are open to ground. If no issue is identified with the motor cavity temperature sensor, it is recommended to verify other components of the compressor cooling system. Additional details can be found in the service manual or the TurboTool app. This concludes the Danfoss TurboCore Cavity Temperature Sensor Verification Presentation. For more information on Danfoss TurboCore products and service documentation, please visit us online at turbocore.com.